Hey everybody and welcome my wrist-free warriors. This is a strong practice, intermediate to advanced practice. It's going to feature a little bit of flow to begin with, but then long holds. We're going to be in the poses for quite a long amount of time. The reason this is really helpful is that when you stay in a strength-based posture for a good amount of time, the right muscles start to kick in and work. Sometimes in postures we recruit the smaller kind of secondary muscles and we're not necessarily always in the optimal alignment for strength and to feel great. Those little secondary muscles get really tired and exhausted fast in long holds, which means your body is forced to use the stronger, more robust muscles closer to the center of the body and that's going to take you a long way in your practice and your health long term. It's going to be a spicy and fiery one. I'm super up for it. I've got a little bit of butterflies. Hope you have too. Let's give it a go. So let's start at the front of the mat. Come to stand, feet hip distance apart to begin. Let the arms rest by the sides. Let's just start our practice with three centering and energizing breath in through your nose, long out through your mouth. Again, sense your feet rooting and settling, stability. As you breathe in that sense of brightness, of lift, of energy and strength. Allow the breath to be in and out through the nose now. Let's begin. Inhale, lift the arms gently towards the sky, gaze towards the fingertips. Exhale, fold down, bend the knees. Lift up halfway into a chair pose. Keep it quite high for this first one. Hips back, arms parallel to the floor. Just breathing calmly. I'm gonna gradually build bit by bit. Starting with a little bit of flow, let's fold forwards. Dragon wings up behind you. And then now as the arms come up, step the left foot back, back knee down. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold onto the thigh, dragon wings. Two more. This flowing warm up, it's getting everything moving and active. This time as the arms come up, bring the fingertips to touch in a gentle fingertip position. Turn to the right and then come back to center. Twice more, turn to the right. Exhale as you turn. And then back to center, reach the arms forwards, tuck your back toes. Back knee comes up, high lunge. Dragon wings, bend the front knee. Two more. Feel the toes spread, feel the front legs starting to activate. As you lift up, fingertips in that fingertip prayer position, turn to the right, center. Squeeze your glutes as you turn. One more. From here, warrior two, back heel down. Take a moment, ground the feet, soften the arms. Let's reverse, breathing in. Straighten your front leg, lift the elbow. Bend your front knee, reach both arms forward. Again, reversing. Hands like they're reaching for sunlight, fire and power. And now this time, come back into a high lunge. Big step forwards, bring your left knee into your chest. Hold the knee. Left arm comes down to the side, standing twist, balancing. Calm breath and then return the foot mountain pose. Inhale, arms lift, look to the thumbs. Exhale, folding dragon wings. Chair pose, breathing in, hold your chair. This time lift your heels off the floor, sink a little bit lower. If your legs are shaking, that's okay. They're waking up bit by bit. One more breath. Heels down, fold dragon wings. Right foot steps back, knee down. 
Crescent lunge, arms lifting to heavens, folding dragon wings. Two more. As the arms come up, fingertips join, fingertip prayer position. <laughs> Turn to your left, use your obliques, and then back to center, two more. Waking up the core, waking up the glutes, setting ourselves up. From here, arms forwards, back toes tuck, lifting into that high lunge. Dragon wings three times. Your back heel is off the floor, so it's a little trickier in the balance. This time as you lift up, fingertip prayer, turn to the left, very gently, and center two more times, turn. Starting to wake up those balance muscles, warrior two, take a moment, spread the toes, spread the mat between the feet, really stretch the mat apart. Reversing front leg lengthens, arms offer forwards, knee bend, and again. I like to inhale as I reverse, exhale for strength. And then from here, high lunge, step forwards, knee comes into the chest, hold, standing, twist. Wobbling with me maybe, or maybe you're not. Come back to center, mountain pose, feet hip distance apart. Inhale, arms lift, this time arching back a little bit in the upper spine. Exhale, folding, dragon wings. Chair pose, heels come up, lower the hips. Option one, arms parallel to the floor. Option two, take the arms up, look towards the fingertips, wobble, wobble, heels up. Four more breaths. Firm your abdominals, draw your lower ribs in for support. Two, one, heels down, fold. Inhale, left foot steps back, back knee down. Dragon wings just once this time. This time as the arms come up, pause here, start to straighten the front leg, lift the front toes, and then place the foot down, knee bends, open your arms to the right. Turn here, squeeze the glutes, and see if you could relax that back shoulder a little bit. Keep the movement in the torso, Less so the arms. From here, back to center, arms forwards, back knee comes up, high lunge. This time, knee comes down for five. And four, straighten the front leg as you come up. Three, two, wakey, wakey to the thighs. One, bend your front knee, open the arms to the right, this time reversing, left arm rises. Warrior two, back heel down. Reversing, straighten the front leg. This time keep the front leg straight, triangle. Really reach forwards, pause here. Imagine your right fingertips are being pulled away. And then allow the hand to float, top arm lifts, expand. Press into that front foot, legs are strong. We're gonna hold. It's building a little stability and endurance here. And think about lifting the kneecaps, engaging the quads. Spread the toes, calm breath, and stay with it. This is still the warm up. <laughs> You've got this, lots of options. Slowly come back, warrior two. From here, high lunge. Big step forwards, knee comes into the chest. This time open the arms to the left, let the knee hover. And now in the twist, begin to straighten the left leg, point the foot. Don't catch the foot even if you can. Work your leg, three, two, wiggle your eyebrows, it helps, I promise. One, mountain pose. Take a big breath in, lines breath out. Again, inhale, arms lift, arching back. Exhale, folding, dragon wings, chair pose, heels lift, hips back, hold. Go dangerously low. Option for the arms overhead, 
or even fingertips together, looking to the thumbs, challenge your balance, four, three, shaky, shaky, two, one, fold, dragon wings, right foot steps back, back knee down, from here, dragon wing. As you come up, straighten the front leg, lift the toes. Bend the knee, open to the left. Let's hold here. So in this position, really press your left big toe down. That knee is really stable. And that allows you to really turn from the abdominals. So there's a lot of inner thigh work here, actually. The arms light. Come back to center, high lunge. Here we go. Knee down for five, four, three, two, one. From here, bend the knee, open the arms to the left, reversing, right hand lifts. Warrior two, all the way round, back heel down. Let's reverse, front leg lengthens. Really lengthen the waist. And then preserve that length into your triangle. Go long, long, long. And the hand floats, top arm comes up. Holding here. If you like micro details, lift the kneecaps, squeeze the quads. Keep your legs strong. Keep drawing that left hip back. Rib cage forwards. Four more deep breaths. Nearly there. Slowly release, warrior two. High lunge, big step forwards, knee comes up and in. Hold, open your arms to the right. Again, twist, squeeze the knee in and start to straighten the right leg, hold it. Five, four, three. If you get cramped, no worries, it happens at first. Two, one and release, mountain pose. Take a deep breath in, three lines breaths. Open the mouth, breathe in. In lines breath, you can stick your tongue out as well. One more time, exhaling. From here, inhale, arms up, arching back. Exhale, fold, dragon wing. From here, chair pose. This time in chair pose, bend your left knee, bring the heel towards your glutes. Squeeze the knees together, sit low. Five, really squeeze the knees. Four, three, two, one. Step back, back knee down. Inhale, arms lift again. Dragon wings. Arms lift. Open to the right, from here, reverse. Option to touch your back heel with your right fingertips. Lift up and back, three deep breaths. It's totally optional to hold the heel. From here, high lunge, back knee comes up. Straight into your warrior two this time. Let's reverse. We've got a hands-free half moon coming up. Lean forwards, glide the back foot in and up. And we're gonna hold for 10, nine, long holds. Here's the first one, eight. Squeeze the glutes, seven, six. Lift your top leg, stay with it. Five, if you're falling in and out, don't worry, get back in, it's cool. Three, two, one, warrior two, reverse, high lunge. On a tired front leg, warrior three, arms back, back leg lifts, 10, point the foot. Your right knee can be a little bit bent, nine, eight, go for length, seven, six, you've got this, I know you have, five, Four, three, 
two, one, step back, high lunge, arms come up. From here, hands to your hips, left knee comes up. From here, cross the ankle over the knee, figure four. Left ankle over right knee, still on that right leg, cooking those glutes, fire in the hold. Arms coming out like wings. Let the fingers and the hands dangle. Four, we're nearly there. Three, two, go lower if it feels good. One, release. Mountain pose at the front of your mat. Shift your weight into your left leg. Right knee comes up and in. Draw the knee into the body. From here, straighten the leg out in front of you. Take the arms up by the ears. Five, not too long. Four, three. Right leg's getting a break right now, in a way. <laughs> Two, one, mountain pose. One lion's breath. Exhale it out. From here, inhale, arms lift. Arching back a little bit more this time. Exhale, dragon wings. Chair pose, breathing in. Right knee comes up. Squeeze the knees together. Squeeze your right heel in. Sit low, five, four, three, two, one. Step back, knee down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, dragon wings. Lifting, twist left, reversing. You could reach towards the heel or you might even touch the heel if you're quite bendy in the lower back, go easy. From here, high lunge, back knee comes up. Warrior two, straight away. We've got that long hold in half moon. Spread your front toes, feel into the foot. With me now, together, here we go. Half moon. Hand is off the floor, and it stays off the floor. 10, nine, really press through your right heel, legs active, eight, seven, six, five, four, calm, 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 three, stay calm, nearly there, two, one step back, reversing, high lunge. Focus your mind, here we go, warrior three. Point in the back foot and lift for 10, nine, eight, draw the fingertips back, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, step back, high lunge. Get ready, ankle over the knee, figure four in the legs. Arms, <laughs> arms wide, set the hips back. My standing leg is on fire. I hope yours is too, in a good way. Four, three, go low, two, one, release, draw your left knee into your chest. Ah, what a relief. And now legs straightens, arms by the ears for five. Pull the ribs in for four. That's it, three, two, one, mountain pose. Big breath in, lion's breath, three times. <sighs> Empty the fire. Connect to your strength. Settle into your feet. From here, inhale, arms up. Little back bend in the upper spine. Exhale, dragon wings. Chair pose, lift the heels. This time lower down into a squat. We're gonna come to sit. Use your fingertips or control your way down. Feet in front of you. From here, gently hold behind the knees if it feels okay. Float the shins parallel to the floor. Squeeze the knees together. And really squeeze the legs together. The inner thighs are gonna help you a lot. From here, arms come forwards, boat pose. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
four, lift the chest, let the shoulders relax. Three, two, one. From here, keep the feet lifted, slowly straighten the legs and lower down. Keep your head off the floor. Half boat pose. Five, squeeze the thighs. Four, point the feet. Three, two, shaky, shaky. One, come back up, half boat. Option to hold here or to straighten the legs for five. Lift the chest. Four, three, two, one. Half boat pose, last one, hold. Reach the fingers forwards, scoop your belly in. Four, three, two, one. Take a big stretch. Ooh, exhaling. Walk your feet in, hip distance apart. From here, listen closely. Bring your elbows onto the floor next to your waist. Your fingers are spread and pointing to the sky. Slowly lift the hips, tuck the tailbone under the low glute bridge. Quickly poke your butt, make sure your glutes are on, feeling, yep, firm and active, <laughs> and tuck the tailbone under. From here, wiggle your feet together or close together. Begin to lift the left knee, bring the left knee in towards your chest, but don't hold it. Tuck the tailbone, hips down and up for five. Four, keep your left knee into your chest. Three, two, one, this time straighten that leg towards the sky, hold. We're gonna hold here, 10, nine. If the knee is bent, that's okay. Eight, press through your right heel, seven, six, five. Your leg is gonna get a break in a moment. Think how nice that will be. Four, three, two, one. Lower the hips down. Switch the legs. Bring the right knee into the chest, tuck the tailbone, up we come. Five, down, four, keep that knee in. Hands active, three, two, glutes, 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 one, hold, straighten that right leg or close to straight for 10. Nine, really check your hips are level here. Seven, Six, press through your left heel. Five, four, focus your mind. Three, squeeze, lift. Two, one, release. Hug the knees in, one lion's breath. Exhale, hold behind the knees. We're rocking up to half boat pose, lift up. Hands float forwards, five, squeeze the knees, four, three. As the secondary muscles start to get tired, the stronger muscles start to take over, getting you into the muscles you need. That's the idea. One, release. From here, find your way round to a kneeling position. In this kneeling position, press the tops of your feet into the ground. Squeeze your butt, tuck under, tuck the tailbone under. From here, take your arms either side of the body, palms turn forwards. It's like your arms follow a straight line from shoulders to hips to knees. Firmly tuck under, squeeze the glutes, and keeping the body in a straight line, lean back. Hold, tuck under, five, four, there's no back bend here, tuck the tailbone, three, press your toes down, two, one. From here, right foot steps forwards, left knee comes back a bit, lunging, dragon wings. Rising to stand, arms come up overhead, turn to the right, standing twist. We're going to take the shape into a floating reverse half moon, it's really challenging. So watch me if you're unsure. From here, I'm gonna reach my hands forwards, 
floating them down into a warrior three variation. From here, I'm gonna take my right hand to my tailbone and I'm gonna turn my shoulders to the right. If you've got this top arm comes up, holding for five, really lift your back leg, four, three, two, one, high lunge, warrior two, back heel down. This time as you reverse, straighten your front leg, lift your toes. Bring your fingertips together in prayer. Bend your back knee, sit down into a side lunge. You don't have to go as low as me. Coming back up, bend your front knee. That's one. We're doing three. Two. Three. From here, half moon, hands free. Yes, I mean it. Top leg comes up. Well, and you've got this option to bend the top knee and catch the foot for sugar cane. Right hand is off the floor. Holding here. If you're not quite there, don't worry. Strength comes bit by bit. Three, two. Release into your warrior three. Hold it. Stay in the balance. From here, fingertips gently come to the ground. Standing split, right leg on fire. Hold it. Left knee bends into flamingo. You have an option to hold here. Or if you're working on pistol squat, fingertips very light. No weight in the hands, leg comes through, pistol squat. If you're here, either arms reach forwards or hold the foot, we're gonna hold here. Nice and toasty, three more breaths. Whichever posture you're in, beautiful commitment. Replace the fingertips, standing split, and feet step together. Inhale, arms lift into chair. Lower down, roll onto your back, knees come in. Half boat pose, legs forwards, lift the chest. If your breath has got really fast, don't worry, it's inevitable. In the sense of settling the mind, even if the breath is running away. From here, staying in this half boat pose, left knee comes in, knee touches the nose, switch sides. Six, five, Four, really straighten that bottom leg. Three, two, one. Stretch out, big breath out. Two more. Keeping the heart rate lifted. Let's come back up, half boat, scoop up, hold behind the knees. This time, option one, breathe here. Option two, straighten the legs, arms come forwards. Option three, drop the right leg halfway down, hold. Keep lifting the left foot if you're with me. And then switch legs. Keep the heel off the floor, the floor is lava. My glutes are lava right now. <laughs> My hip flexors too. Slowly release, find your way into a squat, chair pose. Right foot steps back, back knee down. Inhale, fingers to the heavens for light and power, dragon wings. Rising to stand, standing twist in your lunge, preparing for the intensity of that reverse half moon. It's a big pose. Getting ready, here we go. Warrior three, fingertips face the ground, left hand to the tailbone, and start to turn the chest. Your back leg is gonna help you. Point the foot and lift it. Think about lifting your upper back, maybe release the top arm. Four, three, really expand. Reach out, reach out. Two, one, step back, high lunge. Warrior three, arms back. Just five count here. Step back, warrior two. Fingertips together, fingertip prayer. Straighten your front leg, bend your back knee, lateral lunge. Three, bend the front knee. 
Control it, two. Last one. From here, warrior two. Get ready for half moon. Back leg comes up. Option to catch the top foot, sugar cane. If you have the foot, press the foot into the hand. Use that to lift. Three, two, one. From here, standing split, fingertips come down. Right knee comes in, flamingo. Either hold here, or if you have control and strength still, pistol squat, feeding through, staying low. You could catch the foot, or you could hold. Three, wiggle your eyebrows. Distract yourself. Two, one, standing split. From here, step the feet together. Last time, sitting back, rolling back down. From here, it's the big one. Half boat pose. Option one, you're holding here. Press your lower back down. If your lower back doesn't come down, lift your legs higher. Option two, shoulders around the ears, like you're lifting a brick towards the ceiling. Option three, lower the heels just above the ground and reach back. Look at your hands. 10, nine, this is called dish. Eight, press your lower back down. Seven, six, shaking with me now, come on. Five, four, this is building heat. This is called tapas in the tradition. Three, two, one, stretch out, exhale, hug your knees in, give yourself a little rock side to side, and then rock up, find your way onto both knees, we're nearly there. From here, tuck the tailbone, press the toes down, hands forwards. This pose is sometimes called little thunderbolt pose. It's a cute name for a ferocious posture. It's really fierce. Really squeeze, tailbone tucked, leaning back. And your shoulders, your hips, and your knees are pretty much in one line. There's no back bend yet. Two, one. Come to sit, kneeling position. Settle your breathing. You might close the eyes for a moment. From here, one more time. So if that felt super intense, little thunderbolt pose, take that same version again. Those of you who feel pretty, pretty strong there, this time with the option to bring the hands down to hold the ankles, I'm not gonna put my weight in my hands. It's still my legs doing the work. I'm barely resting my hands on my ankles. From here, I'm tucking under, leaning back, going back a little bit further until my fingertips just stroke my ankles, maybe even my calves, and optionally arching back. There's very little weight in my hands. Three, it's tricky to breathe. Two, squeeze your glutes. One, oh, <laughs> child's pose. Take a couple of breaths here. Mop your brow. <sighs> Truth be told, we're going to take that one more time. So if that felt really intense, what you might do this time is simply rest your hands at your lower back. Or again, as an option, the work is in the legs, the hands are very light. If you're comfortable going into that deeper backbend version, eventually hands are holding the calves, but there's very little weight in the hands. It's great wrist-free practice. When you're ready, taking your version of the pose, breathing in, lift the chest, squeeze the glutes, lean back. Those of you in the back bend, the head starts to lower. Three, two, one. Coming up, come onto your forearms. Walk the knees back. Let's just lie down. Rest your cheek on your hands for a moment. 
It can feel good to wiggle the hips here. To swish the knees. And from here, using your elbows maybe, and just find a way to come around to sit. And start to cool things down. Soles of the feet come together for cobbler's pose. This first version of cobbler's work to lengthen the spine and keep the back feeling really long. Holding the, ha uh, the feet rather, or the ankles. You could hold your hands. <laughs> In supplication that the intense bit's over. Slowly fold. Think about reaching your chest towards your toes. And the eyes could close or soften. These downward facing postures can be really calming for the nervous system, really balancing. It's very important, I believe, after a strong practice, to take a little time to bring your nervous system back to a healthy harmony and equilibrium. Slowly coming up, I'll turn to the side for this next version. So same posture in many ways, but this time I'm going to round my back. So I'm going to curl backwards, draw my chin in, and gently take the top of my head towards my toes. So I'm really rounded. And your back muscles have worked quite hard in that practice, so now they get a nice long stretch. And eventually your forehead or your head can come to the toes for some practitioners, but not essential. Just observe the breath settling, calming down. Then slowly coming up. I'm going to lie down. I'm sweating quite a lot, <laughs> perspiring. Come down. Let's find a happy baby. And catch the ankles or the feet. Take a little rock. If it feels good, you could even catch the toes. Maybe straighten one leg out to the side. Maybe straighten both. Keep it a little playful. Follow what feels good right now. And now from here, bring your feet down. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Option one, simply breathing here. If it feels okay in your wrists and hands, draw the left shin or the knee in. If your hips are quite uh, flexible, if you naturally have quite a bit of space there, one alternative version from here, if this is easy, if it's easy, bring your right knee into the right elbow hook and your foot comes into the left elbow hook and then your hands can kind of hold or bind gently around the shin. And if you're there, the left foot can come flat to the floor. It's like a pigeon on your back. If you're in this bound version, eventually that left leg can straighten, which makes it a little bit deeper still. Whichever version you're in, start to release. Bring the right knee into your chest, left leg long, and let's take a twist. Option one, hold the knee. Option two, catch the outside edge of the foot, straighten the leg. You could give your jaw a little wiggle, see if anything could soften or release there. Big breath out. Ah, oh, we made it. I made it with you. Slowly come back and then left ankle over right knee. Maybe you hold here, maybe you reach through. 
And if this feels open again, taking the knee and the foot into the elbow hooks, catching fingers or wrist lightly, and the right leg could bend or maybe even straighten. And all of our hips are different. The bone shapes are different from person to person. And it's very, very, very likely your left hip is a slightly different shape in the bones than your right hip. The left thigh bone, the head of the left thigh bone is probably a slightly different shape than the right of the thigh bone. We're all a little bit asymmetric, <laughs> a little bit wonky. <laughs> Everybody is. And that's great. We're unique and brilliant. So we figure out how to find our way around, around our body. And into that twist now, left knee in, and over the, you come, maybe catch the outside edge of the foot. And this time, see if your tongue could soften. Often the tongue gets tense, there's a feeling of relaxing the inside of the throat. Sighing out. And back to center for just a couple of minutes in Shavasana. And if your back feels really worked from that practice, it can be nice to keep the knees bent, rest the knees together. That can feel really good for the lower back. But also leg straight works. Let's take one full inhale through the nose, really big one. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, all the way up, all the way up. Hold the breath, hold your breath. Suspend it and exhale loudly. <sighs> Allowing the body to rejuvenate to refresh for a couple of minutes. Deepening your breath. Starting to rekindle movement in your fingers and toes, wiggling. You might turn your head gently side to side. Perhaps that sense with the strength and the fire comes this capacity for total release and rest. So sometimes the strength allows us the chance for more restorative, more rest. Take a stretch out. Walking your feet in. You could hug your knees in. And take your right arm overhead. You could roll to the right side. 
Just take a few breaths on your side. And finding a gentle way to come up. Just coming to a closing seated position. Oh. <laughs> you might join the palms if that feels good to you, or hands, hands can simply rest. And let's just bow a little bit to each other, acknowledging. I'm acknowledging your strength, your commitment, your sense of adventure and playfulness. We're always growing in different ways. And the journey is the fun bit. We'll close here. Peace, peace, peace. So thanks so much for being here. Well done for making it through. It's strong practice. Just sense how you feel after and for the rest of your day. Give yourself extra rest and nourishment. Look after yourselves. And I look forward to seeing you next time in practice. Leave me feedback below. Please, please subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me keep producing more of these videos for you. And I'll see you next time. All my love. In love and strength. Mwah.